everyone, I'm Bonnie from Really Reasonable Ribbon and Make Time to Craft. And today I'm going to swing in with a quick tutorial on how you can make a great bow with this bow making set from EK Tools. I had actually purchased this quite a while ago because if I see anything ribbon related, I usually snap it up. And I didn't really see too much use for, for what I was doing at the time and it kind of got put aside with the other things that I had to have and never used, which you probably all have the same pile. But this month I've been working on these pretty Christmas ornaments and I realized that this might be the perfect topping for these ornaments and I do like the way it turned out. So I'm going to share with you how I did that. I've been working with the October and November Ribbon Club assortments this month because those are the ones that are out. And if you're not familiar with our Ribbon Club, it, once you enroll, you would get a new assortment shipped automatically each month. And each assortment is color or holiday themed assortment of ribbon. And it typically has eight or nine styles and anywhere from 16 to 18 yards of ribbon. So it's really a fun way to build your ribbon stash and try new ribbon styles. So this bow maker comes with the directions, the three templates, the adhesive sticky backing and the little brad that you're supposed to pierce the ribbon through. I have to say that I'm, for me, I'm not overly impressed with being able to make this type of ribbon. You know, it's kind of the bow that you would attach to a gift wrapped package. I mean, if you, if you're looking to have a really nice gift wrapping job and you want a matching bow, then by all means, go ahead. But it doesn't work really well with a high quality ribbon. It's hard to pierce the ribbon through the brad if it's a good, thick, nice quality ribbon, which is what I'm usually using. I'm going to quickly run through how they suggest to make these, just so you know. I mean, it works really well, but make sure you have a lightweight ribbon. This one is made of organza, and this is delicate stitched satin from Really Reasonable Ribbon. Both of them worked okay. The organza was easier. It was a little harder to pierce through the delicate stitch satin, but it wasn't impossible. So that's another option. Um, the set comes with three different sizes that you can make. I was working with just the small one. It comes with, I think, 12 of these adhesive backings, which is what you're going to put on the back. And then like any gift wrapping bow, you peel and then stick it onto your package and 12 of these little piercing brad things. So the idea is you put the little brad thing in the center slot of the tool. And I have like 60 inches of ribbon. I think it, it says 56, you know, whatever. And I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap around three times, which is what I did on this one. It gives three layers of the loops. So they want you to start with the ribbon in the little slot where the number five is. And they say to leave three inches. You can, you don't really need three inches, but you better safe than sorry. Now you're going to end up wrapping around following the number system. Each little flap is numbered and it tells you with the arrows that you go on the left side and come down on the right. So we're going to pierce through the brad and you're going to wrap around one, which is the side that they're saying, go up this side and down that side. Then you're going to shoot for number two next, which is across from it. You're going to pierce the ribbon and go down and around, pierce with the brad. And you're just going to continue doing this, following the numbers all the way around. Now I am going to quickly go through this until I have three loops on each 
little side. Okay, so now when you're done with your final one, you're going to pierce the final. After you do the last number five, and then we're just going to trim close to the bread. Then you take one of the adhesive circles, peel one side. And this is a little big for the smallest bow. You could actually trim it down to a smaller circle. It would probably be a good idea to do that. Oops, I think I, whatever, I'm just gonna keep going. I peeled too much, so the adhesive on one side isn't gonna stick. But anyway, stick that down, open your bread, and now you're just gonna carefully, this. The template will bend just a little and you're going to slide the loops off of all the sides. And gently remove it. Okay, so now this is going to become your center loop. So remember I said three inches is probably too long, so I'm just going to trim that off a little. We don't need that much. And now you're just gonna take the end and pierce it over the short side of the brads here. And open that up as well. And now you're just gonna separate the loops. And if you give it a little twist, it offsets the points. Kind of just grab each layer and give it a little twist. And it offsets the points and gives you a nice full bow. So really the, temp the template does exactly what it claims to do perfectly well. I wish they would give a few more of these things because 12 doesn't really do yet a lot of good if you're really going to use this for gift wrapping but the templates are there and you can always get refills if you really like the tool but this doesn't really work for the ribbon that i want to use so i got a little creative not very creative a little creative and you can go ahead and do use a thicker ribbon and rather than the little brad in the center i'm just going to use a needle and thread at the end and sew the bow so for this one i'm just going to do two loops on each one and rather than piercing the center i'm just kind of once you get through the first two, it's kind of hold just from having the layers on top of it. You don't even have to hold it. It's not going to come undone. So one more time around. And back to the center. And I just took a needle and thread and it helps to have a thimble too because you're going through a lot of thickness. And you can even, as long as you pinch the center, take it right off there. Give it one little stitch just to hold it. And then you can separate your loops. Oops. Give it the little twist that you want. 
and then a few more stitches. And if I wasn't rushing, it would look a lot neater. I'm not going to stitch anymore while you're watching. You get the idea. I trim that off for what I'm doing with the ornaments because I don't need the center loop and then just trim that extra off the back too. And what I had done with the ornaments was then add some sort of a mulberry flower to the center which ends up looking really nice. Um, here's a couple of these I did. I actually hot glued these two, which is another option if you don't want to sew. The only problem I encountered with the hot glue is it adds some bulk there. So depending on how many layers you're going to do, it gets a little thick in the center. I don't think you can see it here, but if you try it, you'll know what I mean. But anyway, I used two different styles from the October Ribbon Club assortment and layered them with a flower in the center and that's a pretty look too. So that's how the bow maker works um, and I will have a separate tutorial on these ornaments if you're interested so be sure to check in my YouTube channel and find that as well. Thanks so much for stopping by today and happy crafting! Mm -hmm.